Hello besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Em and welcome to the start of another chaotic readathon vlog. I am fairly sure that this is going to be a 24 hour readathon vlog, but you know me, it could potentially become a 48 hour readathon. We don't know, we just go with the vibes here, we go with the flow, we see how it goes. It is currently 4.30 on Saturday the 26th of March. Had I planned on doing this readathon? No, I had not. Have I even like said that I'm doing this readathon to anybody else? No, I haven't. But if I'm going to be honest with you guys, the only reason that I decided Decided to do this was because I bought a new flavor of coffee at the shop that I just went to and I felt like that needed to go with the readathon so that's the only reason that I'm starting this readathon which now that I'm saying it out loud doesn't really make that much sense but you know what it's fine we're gonna go with it we're gonna enjoy it and you know I love a good readathon so let's get into it so yeah I'm very excited it's really really sunny outside so I do think I'm going to go make myself a coffee and read outside for a while because you know we got to soak up the sun while we can so let me quickly show you my TBR it is fairly ambitious but I literally just put it together five minutes ago so we're gonna see how well we do. So the first book that I'm going to be reading and hopefully finishing is Credence by Penelope Douglas. I am actually reading this with my Patreons and that will be a whole separate vlog so I won't be giving you too many of my thoughts on this book because it is in a separate video and I don't want to like double cross myself but yeah I am reading this book listen I have some thoughts about this book but we'll get into that in a minute I'm currently on chapter 10 which is page 152 I do want to finish this within this readathon but I don't think I have the actual brain capacity to sit down and read the rest of this book all tonight because I feel like that's just like that's unhinged so I probably will like maybe try to read to chapter 20 this evening and then maybe finish it off tomorrow but yeah I'm really enjoying this book this follows Tiernan her parents have just died and she moves to this like very very secluded town to live with her step uncle and step cousins and it's Penelope Douglas things get a little bit questionable things get a bit taboo and this is the book that I'm reading yeah, I am the disappointment of the family. Can can we tell? Yeah, we can tell. So to be a little bit chaotic and ambitious, I kind of want to reread the Heartstopper comics. These... There go my books. But yeah, I always reread these books probably like once a year, but I haven't read them yet this year and I do want to reread them and I feel like a readathon will be the perfect time to do that because the show on Netflix is coming out on the 22nd of April. So I am so excited for the Netflix show, like how men reacted when the Joker came out. This is my Joker. This is my Joker, but worse. So yeah, I kind of want to reread these and then I also feel like they're quite springy, you know, like I can sit outside and read. A heartstopper comic. Okay, then I'm going to quickly talk about some other options that I have for other books on the off chance that I do actually manage to finish Credence. So one of the books that I have is Addicted for Now by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This is the third book in the Addicted Calloway series and I really do want to read this because I have seen nothing but TikToks of the Core Six and of the Calloway Sisters. I just want to read it basically and I kind of want to read the Calloway Sisters series a lot more than I want to read this one but I have to get to this one in order to get to my Rose and Connor book. So I actually have two other options just on the off chance that I either want to mood read or somehow like take up like a superhuman reading speed and get through all of those books. So my next option is The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the sequel to The Inheritance Games, which I read in my last 24 hour readathon. It's short. It is just over like 300 pages. I think it has like 320 pages and it's a mystery and it's YA. So I might read this. And then finally, my last option is dial a for aunties i am so excited to read this this is kind of like a comedy mystery book where we have this girl who accidentally kills somebody or somebody ends up dead and she needs to call her aunties to help hide the body so yeah that is my incredibly ambitious tbr for this readathon so yeah i think i might start with heartstopper volume one because i'm gonna actually sit outside right now i'm probably gonna make one of my new coffees because this is the whole inspiration for this readathon and then I might actually text my friends to see if anybody wants to join me on this chaotic time because honestly like who needs more than 15 minutes notice to dedicate a whole day of their lives to reading like nobody I'm gonna go right now welcome to the vlog welcome to the chaos I'm really excited for this video and yeah welcome okay besties so it is now 10 past 5 the readathon is starting officially at 6 because i actually decided to share it on my patreon and get people to join with me so we can like do a discord and stuff but i think i'm actually going to start reading now like i'm gonna sit outside with a coffee and read but i wanted to just show you the size of my tbr when it's all together this is the tbr there's eight books on here who do i think i am this is like this is heavy 
do we think I'll read all of these? Probably not, but I think I'm gonna start with Heartstopper, so let's go. Okay, so I just ordered a Chinese takeaway and I am so shocked because if you've been here for a while, you will know that they never answer their phones. So they open at five. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just start trying from five. Maybe I'll get in around like seven. And they answered on the first ring. So we're getting Chinese food. So I think I'm gonna sit outside right now for a while until the food comes and read maybe Heartstopper one. And then we'll see where we go from there. I am so excited for this readathon. It's spring, it's warm, it's fun. I am now in my kitchen, which I don't think I've ever vlogged from my kitchen before. So we're getting all the new locations in this vlog, but it is now six o'clock and I have just finished Heartstopper Volume 1, so I've just finished the first book of the readathon. This book is my comfort book, like I love it so much. It is so cute. I was smiling from start to end, like it's just, it's just everything. It's like a warm hug. So needless to say, five out of five stars. Nick and Charlie, I always forget how much I just love them. Um, so yeah, five out of five stars for this book. My food has just arrived, so I'm gonna have that right now. And I think I will probably like watch Superstores or a booktube video maybe, but like I'm on season six of Superstores, which is the last season. And I just don't want it to be over because I love it so much, but I also kind of want to finish it. So I might watch some Superstores and then I will probably read volume two. But yeah, we are an hour into the readathon and technically I have read 263 pages. Like I know that there are graphic novel pages, so it is like that little bit quicker to read. But still, you know what? I'm claiming it. I'm claiming that I've read 263 pages. <laughs> Okay, besties, it is now 10.20 in the evening. I have gotten so sidetracked. Like, I don't even know how that happened. Um, but I ended up on TikTok and then I realized it was like 9 p.m. and I hadn't done any of the jobs that my mom asked me to do while she was at work. So I had to speed do those. But yeah, I'm reading with Misty. She's here. We're gonna get the chill vibes on. Also, I put on a campfire ASMR room. I'll show you right now. But it is giving me very much Credence vibes. So as soon as I finish this, I will hopefully be picking back up Credence. And I don't know if I'll get to chapter 20 because that's a lot of reading. But you know what? Maybe. You never know. Okay, so here's the ASMR room. I can just picture a Credence scene with this, like for sure. Okay, besties, it is now almost 11 o'clock and I have just finished Heartstopper Volume 2. I love this book so much. I actually, like, I don't even know if I prefer the first one or the second one, but this was definitely five out of five stars. So technically I have read 556 pages today. I know it's not the same as reading 556 pages of a novel, but yeah. I'm so really proud of myself. So I think I am going to switch to Credence right now. This is a drastic turnaround from Heartstopper. Like it's literally the opposite. I'm currently on page 152. The next stopping point is page 285, but I don't know if I'll make it to that point. Good morning, besties. It is now Sunday. It is currently 11 in the morning and it feels like it shouldn't be 11 o'clock because the hour went forward last night so it should really only be 10. I have my coffee here and I wanted to give you a reading update and tell you like what my plans are for the day and stuff. So Credence, I didn't actually manage to really read that much yesterday. I made it to page 174 so I read a whopping 24 pages. That wasn't the best 
but I now have like a little bit of time before I have to do stuff but I have such a busy day I just wish I didn't because I want my weekend again like why did the weekend go so fast so I want to get up to chapter 20 today because that was my stopping point for yesterday I think I'm going to sit outside for a while and read it's not that warm today actually but it is still sunny so hopefully you know there's a bit of warmth in it um but also I might read Heartstopper volume 3 and 4 they're kind of like the sadder volumes so I didn't really want to read them but also also, like I kind of wanted to have reread all four before the show comes out so maybe I'll start with those two but I'm actually going out for dinner tonight for Mother's Day which will be really really fun <laughs> It is now 12 p.m. and I have just finished volume three of Heartstopper. I think I'm gonna give this one a 4.5. I would give it a five, but it just doesn't give me the same like fluffy, cute, adorable feelings as the first two do. I've now read 909 pages during this readathon. So I do think I'm just gonna go straight in and read volume four and just get that over with. But I think I'm actually going to sit outside with this book as well because it's still really, really sunny. Okay, it is now 12.45 and I've just finished my fourth book of the readathon, which is Heartstopper volume four this is probably my least favorite book in the heartstopper series even though it's still good i think i will give this somewhere between like a three or a four star i'm honestly not sure yet but yeah i am really glad that i have finished it i have now read 1256 pages in this readathon and i know they're graphic novels but like they're actually quite long graphic novels and yeah i am really glad that i have read these now because i feel like i'm ready for the show so yeah i think i am going to take a quick break and like watch a booktube video or watch an episode of super or something just because I have been reading for a very long time and then after my break I think I'm going to pick up Credence again I have a couple hours before I need to go anywhere I won't say anything else about this book because there's no other updates but yeah it's it's going I just kind of want to get through it at this stage but yeah I'm gonna hopefully read another little bit of this I also kind of need to get ready like I'm gonna curl my hair and stuff but yeah that's my update for right now this readathon is going really well and I'm having a great time okay besties it is now 3 p.m and I haven't actually managed to read anything else I ended up curling my hair and watching some booktube but right now I actually have to go into town because I have to go get something and when I get back I'll have to get ready really quickly to go out for dinner so I don't know if I'm going to get anything else read before the readathon is officially over. However, when I do get home from the restaurant this evening, I think I will probably just read until I go to bed. So I will count that towards the readathon because I had to take a few breaks. But yeah, I am so far really happy with how much I've read. I just want to get through a bit more of Credence and then I will be completely satisfied with how much I read during this readathon. And yeah, I will talk to you later. Okay, besties, it is now Monday, so it's the next day and the 24 hour readathon or kind of just like weekend readathon is now officially over and I wanted to come on here to wrap up my reading. I honestly didn't manage to read as much as I wanted to even though I did still read a lot so the last time I talked to you I actually didn't end up reading anything after that and when I came home I was in the mood to read but then I started getting really dizzy because I may have had one or many cocktails so I was not feeling in the reading mood but yeah but yeah I made it up to page 180 of Credence so I think I read like 30 maybe 50 pages of this I think over the weekend which was not great so yeah I'm just coming on here to wrap up the video I hope you enjoyed it was honestly like a very chill 24 hour readathon I had a great time and it was so sunny and so amazing outside but yeah that is it for this video comment the heart emoji in whatever color you want down in the comments if you watch to the end all my links to my social media and to my patreon will be down in the description box if you do want to check that out as well thank you so so much for watching stay amazing Stay kind and I'll see you in the next one.